Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello friends, both old and new. It's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys, happy Sunday and Sunday. So it is coffee talk and there we go. Today with my coffee, I'm going to be having a little bit of this, um, ooh, this bramble berry pie. And let me just tell you, it is, mmm. Mm. It's delish. We had ordered it from a from our neighbors' grandkids who were selling it. I believe they were selling it for I don't know school. We had gotten it last year. That and a, um, apple pie. We put it in the in the freezer, and we didn't touch it until today. It's delicious. So I have my coffee. I have my pie. I'm a happy lady. So hope everybody had a great day and a great weekend. Little update. I know yesterday I was feeling in a way. Um, I just from time to time will just get in these moods where it just comes up on me real quick and I just get in a very miserable way. I went out yesterday. I was in a decent mood. I was going to get stuff done. Went to Walmart. I um, went to the post office to mail, to return a package. Um, and to get some stamps, a bunch of stamps, because I'm in a, um, I'm in a Christmas card exchange, which now has, excluding me, 78 people. So I did all that, and I was going to come home, and I was going to take everything down, all the decorations down in my office, and put up Christmas. And I was so excited. And then, just like a flip, just was like, poop, no, you're not. And I was in a mood. I was in a terrible mood. So... A little bit of a, a little bit of an update on it. Um, better today. Today, got things done that I wanted to get done. I got a got a little bit of a a, um, a workout in. I did. I have the the on the app or on the app on the watch. Um, I have fitness Apple Fitness Plus or something like that, and they have a whole catalog of different um of different workouts that you can do and one of them is called take a walk so they have different celebrities the celebrities will take a walk and they'll just talk about their life and today and at the end of it they will play like three songs that either mean a great deal to them or just songs that they like um and today listen to bb rexa it was for like 26 minutes i think and her three songs that she played at the end was uh, really good songs. It was um, Lauren Hill, That Thing, awesome song. Um, Shania Twain, Feel Like a Woman, and Britney Spears, Toxic. So great songs. But her whole message was compassion. Have compassion for yourself and compassion for others. And the compassion for others, she had talked about how she's in, she's, of Albanian ancestry and years ago when she was on tour there was a there was a, an earthquake in Albania and so she had gotten money together and had donated it to the people of Albania she went over there and she saw everything that was going on and there was a gentleman who had who could not live in his house it was just not safe so she gave him this money to get to get new housing and he didn't have anything he picked off he picked a um orange from a tree and just gave it to her and he wasn't embarrassed that he didn't he didn't have he was just so happy that that she could help that he got help that he just he gave everything that he had that was what he had he gave everything that he had to her and she said it was easily like the the the, the best day of her life and so just have compassion for others, but also have compassion for yourself. And what that means is she had told a story about when she was first starting out. She was in, she was asked to be the lead singer for a band that was put together by Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy. Everything was going good. And then all of a sudden she was just fired. And it wasn't, she wasn't even really given like a lot of heads up or anything where she thought, you know, hey, I'm more than just an employee to them. I'm, you know, family. But she was just fired and she fell into a depression. Um, her father 
would make her go out and take a walk like every day. And from that, she ended up writing the song Monster, which was then, which was very personal to her. It was all about the monster really isn't outside. It's, it's in my head. And it, it was very personal to her and she felt very, very happy. That song ended up being picked up by Rihanna and um, Eminem and went on to win a Grammy. So her message from that was have compassion for yourself because it may seem like it's a failure at that moment, but hold on because that's just, the, that's just God's way of showing you that listen, there's something else out there. Don't let this define you and and let this and let you think that this is the end because it's not. It was it was I I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. I'm gonna do that again. I didn't walk. I used my um I used my Kubi. Um last week. Let's see. Last week was my first week back from vacation and I handled it a little better than I thought I did. But listen, here's the changes that I made. I did no overtime. I'm going into it thinking, listen, I'm going to work as efficiently as I can from 8 to 4.30. What I get done from 8 to 4.30 is what I get done. This is it. We're stretched incredibly thin at work, incredibly thin. So they have us doing two things, like do this, and then if you see that this is popping off, jump on this. So I'm gonna do what I can do. And then at 4.30, I'm going to actually go and have somewhat of a life. Even if I'm not going out and socializing, I want something, I want my life to be something besides getting up and working all day, getting going to bed, getting up and working. So that's what I did. I also, we're at bed, I'm in bed 10 o'clock and I'm really trying to refrain from taking an electronic, taking a device into bed like my phone or my Kindle or my iPad and go on TikTok and watching videos. I cannot do that. So I've stopped doing that and I've been falling asleep pretty well, pretty quickly and waking up at 6.30, I have been getting close. I've been getting, if not eight hours a night, very close to eight hours a night. So that has been, that's been helping my mood. And also in the morning, if I can, if I can get it together, um, I've been doing like maybe like a 10 or 20 minute workout in the morning on this Apple Fitness Plus on my Kubi. And that all makes you feel better and it does leave me less stressed during the day. So that's that's something that has, that I've been doing that has been making that has been making um, a difference for me. Let me in the let me know in the comments what do you guys do to make you feel less stressed during the week? I would really like to know. Any any kind of recommendations? I'm always open to them. Always. So the other thing I want to show you, I got this this past week. I completely forgot that I had ordered it, pre-ordered it. But when I saw it, I remembered. And listen, this is this is a calendar. This is a pre-order calendar from this guy. And Morty the Misfit, I found him on TikTok. Um, he is a special needs dog. He's somewhere up in one of the New England states. And his mom and dad um, had adopted him. I believe they've had him for maybe a year. So I've probably been following him for a year. Um, and it's just such a sweet calendar. So here's the front and then here's the back. And inside it has just... It has his story here. It has his story and some some adorable pictures. And you see, and then also it has pictures of 
of Mori, but it also has pictures of other special needs dogs like Stan and Ginger. Um, and also in the, and then here's another one in June that highlights some of the, some of the dogs. And it gives their like, it gives their, um, some of the most of them give their Instagram where you can find them. Um, and also, if you notice, on the days, it'll give like either their birthday or happy gotcha day or um, in memory of. And it's just so sweet. Here's another one, Ollie. So here. And this benefits Long Way Home Adoptables in Texas. Um, they are a they are a shelter. And they take in dogs. They take in dogs of any any age size. Um, they take in healthy dogs who are in overcrowded situations. They take in special needs dogs, dogs that just are not being adopted because of age. Um, they take in all dogs. So it's it's called it's long way longwayhome.org. I believe. Yes, it's longwayhome.org. And I'll put it, I'll put it like up here um, someplace. Um, but yeah, it's it's just adorable. I I love Morty. And as you can tell, I got my little Morty sweatshirt on. He's adorable. So if you want to go check him out, um, check him out or check out any of these other pups in here. And the other pups are, let me see. The other pups that we have here, uh, it's Stan. This is Stan, okay. And he's at his, um, on TikTok, he's at Hot Senior Pups. Hot, H-O-T, Senior, S-E-N-I-O-R, Pups, P-U-P-S. Um, and on Instagram, he's Hot Senior Pups. Uh, Tina, there's Tina. She is at um, her... Her Instagram is Tina has something on her nose, and her TikTok is Tina the Ch Tina the Chi, Tina the Chai. So Tina T I N A T H E C H I. Um, we also have who else? Okay, here's these guys. All right, um, we have Macy Macy. That's M A C Y Macy at her her Instagram is Nine Bachelors. Lily, her Instagram is Sweet Lily Fox. Um, Gingy, she's at Gingy Monster KW22. That's Instagram. It's Gingy G I N G E Monster, and then KW22, and then Mellow, and she's at her Instagram is Miss Gracie and Mellow. So it's. M I S S G R A C I E and M as a Mary E L O. So Gracie, Miss Gracie and Mellow. And then the other dog that they have, well, here is Ollie. They don't give anything for Ollie, but so I I love it. I think it is such oh, and here's another one. Okay, it is here's here's Ollie. Ollie's right here. And Ollie, it's Ollie, O-L-L-I-E, the seal pop, the seal, S-E-A-L pop. So those are all the, those are all the dogs that have, um, that have things listed for them. So go and check them out. So that, I love this. I'm going to be using this many, many days every day. Okay, so lastly, I watched the new Christmas movie. Um, Spirited that came out last week in theaters, but this week on Friday it was out on um, Apple TV. I watched Spirited with Ryan Reynolds, Will Ferrell, and Octavia Spencer, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I loved it. I never thought that I would be saying I saw a movie with those two guys and they were singing and dancing, and they did pretty good actually. 
I love the music in it. I really hope that they release a soundtrack for it because I loved, I love the movie and it was such a feel good. It was, it was such a feel good movie. It was a reimagining of um, Charles Dickens' Scrooge. And I just absolutely loved the message in it was just that everybody has good in them and ripples can affect everyone. So if you put a bad ripple out there, if you put bad behavior out there and a bad ripple, that's going to affect people in that way. Why not make your ripple a good ripple and, and put kindness and goodness out there? And also it was that no one is unredeemable. So everybody has good in them. Everybody, they say everybody has good in them. I'm sure there are some people that don't, but... Um, I, I just enjoyed it so much. I will, I will absolutely rewatch that movie. Um, it was, it was a pro, um, I want to say it was appropriate for kids. I mean, there was some cussing, but it wasn't, I would, if I had a child, I would let them watch it. I thought it was, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The whole movie. I'm going to watch it again. So with that being said, everybody, I have not told you yet today. I love you, your love seen and heard. Um, please make sure that you put kindness, love, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. Please know if you're going through something, you are not alone. I'm always here and it, everybody, listen, everybody who is subscribed to my channel, it's we're, you know, we're in this together, everybody. So please put kindness out there and I love you guys. Have a great rest of the day and a great week. Bye guys.